I'm not a gambler, and I don't enjoy the casinos in Vegas when I go to conferences, but it never ceases to amaze me when I watch people I thought I knew walk off at the end of the last session of the day, plant their butt on a blackjack stool all night, and the next morning brag about how much they lost. I don't get it. I don't understand the allure. If you've been following the news, you know that MGM Resorts and Caesars aren't bragging about their losses right now. According to numerous reports, a major hack against the casinos was started with a social engineering scheme against an outsourced IT support vendor on September 11. This allowed the attackers to access the system through compromised accounts. Scattered Spider was identified as the most likely group behind the attacks, which are causing losses of between $4 million and $8 million per day at MGM Resorts. The breach potentially exposed the social security number and driver's license number of Caesars customers. The company is reported to have paid a $15 million ransom to the group. There is the potential that Scattered Spider is working with ALPHV, the ransomware as a service group, which indicates this might be the first of more attacks to come. Original attacks in the past were against the machines within the casinos. With ransomware now in play, these bets are off the table. The follow-up to this series of events is that casinos, which were once thought to be one of the most secure systems in the world, are now being perceived as various attack surfaces for adversaries. Now that this type of hack has been proven to work, it's only a matter of time before the next set of casino attacks roll a big fat seven against the house. Mm -hmm.